Alright guys, what's up? Quick tutorial on how to do analog joystick inputs for your fight stick and I'm gonna make the extra movement buttons D-pad. So this is gonna be analog and this is D-pad, okay? This is done using the GP2040 CE PCB um, and I will quickly show you how that works. So we are in the web configurator for the GP2040 CE. This is the main page and there's a couple things to check off. All right. So first things first is you want to set up stuff for console if you have the uh, pass through Magic Boots connected. Here's my recommended settings. You, you, you flip it on PS4 mode. You turn on report speed hack right here and you flip on arcade stick. That's going to give you the lowest latency for PlayStation. OK, so there's some hotkey settings down here as well that you can edit, you know, to your liking. I turn off all the defaults just to avoid any confusion. You can change SOCD settings. You can map all types of different shortcuts, um, change profiles and whatnot. You can do that all here in the in the uh, in the shortcut settings. So, for instance, I did share plus R3 equals reboot the GP2040 CE. To set up the the cross up style where you have analog and you have D pad, you're gonna need to do two things. First of all, you're gonna have to go into the add on configuration. And then you're going to have to enable this right here, dual directional input. Um, because I'm using the joystick for left analog, I literally chose left analog instead of right analog or D-pad. And then combination mode, you could do a bunch of things depending on what you want to do. If you go into the GP2040 website, I'll put a link in the description. It will explain exactly what these different combination modes mean. But for the most part, I just want to pick none so that both of these will basically act independently and make sure that is enabled here, okay? Obviously you hit save every time you do a step so it saves the settings. Okay, next most important thing guys is you want to go into the pin mapping. Okay, really important. I mapped pin 26, 27, 28, 29. So if you look on the PCB, depending on which GP2040 PCB you have, um, you may have some extra pins available to you. Um, I, again, I used 26 to 29 and I mapped up, down, left, right, and DDI out of this whole list here, you could pick basically any input, but I mapped DDI up, down, left, right. DDI basically is 100% analog, right, on e in either directions, okay? So boom, you hit save there, and that's set. Now, really, really cool is that you could go into the profile here, and this will give you a clean slate. Just say you want to make a different configuration. Just say you want this up button to be, um, I don't know, L3 you can go there and, and, and set it to L3, right? Boom, and then so on and so forth. And what's really cool, you, there's four profiles you could choose from. And then remember when I show, was showing you guys the, um, the hotkey settings, you can then make a shortcut to switch profiles. So just say if I want to press up plus share maybe, right? Equals load profile one. And then, you know, share plus left equals two so forth, so on. You hit save and then boom, you have all these different ways to make different profiles. Okay, so the way you could test all this stuff, guys, I'm gonna reboot this guy into controller mode and I'm using gamepad tester over here. All right, and if you could see, my joystick is controlling the analogs. I'm gonna press left, down, right, up on the, on the buttons here and that is controlling the D-pad and then everything else is, you know, the typical arcade stick layout. All right, so quick tutorial on how to map separate directional inputs using GP2040. Again, on this specific build, analog. And then I have the additional buttons mapped to the D-pad inputs. All right, guys, let me know if that helped. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat. Remember, check out the GP2040 website for a full tutorial. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.